Hello everybody out there. I just want to take a minute here and show you that there's a couple different kind of test lights out there. Now, this test light here is what you'd think of as your normal test light. All right. Now, you got two ends of this test light. You got this alligator clip that normally you would connect to something and leave it connected. Normally you'd think of that as being a ground, okay? Now, the other end is a long pointy probe it allows you to easily pierce into a wire insulation or down into a terminal or whatever you know it just it's just nice to have that so you can get um, to a wire or a connection on this point easily now in the handle you have a light bulb okay now whenever you got the two ends connected and this is to a known ground and this goes to a known hot it'll light the light bulb up and tell you that there is power there it completes the circuit and you know that's got a good power wire now first you got to have a good ground <clears throat> so here for this purpose I went out and got my motorcycle battery and I hooked a couple wires to it and I'm just going to simply hook this to the ground side okay now normally you don't have that luxury if you're working on something you're usually farther than the cord goes okay so you can simply hook this to anything you think is a ground but then before you start troubleshooting it's always a good idea to take your test light and try to find a known good hot wire just to confirm that your test light lights up okay because you don't want to be troubleshooting and figure out later that this end wasn't connected well and then all your troubleshooting really is meaningless okay that just confirms that your test light works and you, you, you know you're got a good ground on that end Okay, so now I got a device or something like that that doesn't work and I want to test for power coming into it. Okay, I find this wire here. Now I want to see if that is my power wire coming to it and if it has power. Okay, since I know I have a good ground down here, I'll go ahead and touch my test light to it. Well, as you can see, when I test, touch the test light, it lights up. So that's telling me I've completed this circuit. This end is connected well, and I know the wire coming out here is a known good positive wire, okay? Because my test light's telling me. Well, now, if I got power to it and my device still doesn't work, what could it be? Well, remember I just said that the test light completes the circuit, and um, the hot wire coming into it had power, <clears throat> so that means that let's just for the sake of testing it test the grounded side of the thing because it also has to have the completed circuit so that means there has to be a wire going back to ground <clears throat> now if I try to test that with this test light the way I have it I can't tell anything other than it's not a hot wire okay because the test light does nothing but the reason being is because I'm trying to test the ground back to a ground and that doesn't work with your traditional test light so now what I want to do in that case is I would take this wire off or whatever I thought was a good ground or my known good ground I would find something I thought was a hot wire now for purpose of this demonstration again I hook it to that side of the battery which I know is a known good hot wire okay now <clears throat> whatever situation you're in you're going to want to find a wire and then you're going to hook that to it if you think it's a good hot and then you're going to do the same thing only backwards you're going to probe to a ground to make your test light light up and once you do that then you confirmed that that is a good power wire because you can touch the ground and complete the circuit and light up the light okay so now back to our wire we was testing for ground I can come over here to the wire and I can see that this goes to ground here but normally you, you, you don't know that see I'm trying to test for ground I can touch my wire to the end of the um, test light and if you see it lights up because there I'm completing the circuit I'm just kind of using it in reverse basically but it's doing the same purpose okay so that's telling me I have a good ground okay so <clears throat> now that we've kind of looked at this test light let's look at this other test light. if you notice this test light looks very similar on this end okay you got the probe and the point here for your finding the um, point on the terminal touch or piercing the wire or whatever you got to do with that in you got the handle here the same and it's got an LED light in there okay so that far we're kind of the same well, the difference in this test light is you have two wires on the other end instead of the one wire that we had on the other test light okay <clears throat> now with this test light you have one hooked to the hot side 
you have one hooked to the negative side. Now, here's the thing about this test light. As all test lights, it's short. Okay, but now instead of hooking one, I gotta have two wires hooked up. Okay, so what I have done before is took jumper cables hooked to the car's battery or whatever you're working on, it's battery, and then I could simply use it as an extension cord for these and plug the hot to the hot and the ground to the ground, and then I can increase my distance away from the battery or whatever, unless you're somewhere lucky enough to find a hot in the ground you can just do that with these but these are kind of like the terminal connections you would find on a battery charger or something and unless you're hooking them to something bigger it's a little harder to connect to any kind of wires unlike the older ones now that's my, my only gripe is the short cord and that which like I say you can remedy that pretty easily now with this test light if you notice if I go over here and touch on the hot wire and I touch that hot wire to see if it's hot. Hope you can see that. There's a red LED light in here. Okay? Now that's lighting up red. Now keep in mind the red is what I'm getting when I touch the positive wire. Okay, now if you remember on the other test light, I had to take this and switch the terminals and all so I could test back to the ground. Well now with this test light, I can just simply go back over here to the ground wire. And if you can see that or not, it turns green whenever I have a completed ground. So if I find a wire is hot it will be red and one here is green. Now if I'm testing a lot of different circuits and stuff like that and I got this other test light um, if I'm jumping back and forth to see if I got power or see if I got a ground connected I'm always doing that. With this test light here I don't have to keep connecting the, the wires around. I can just leave them as is and this will tell me whether I got ground or hot wire. You know, I can freely touch whatever wires and not worry. So that's a little about that test light there. Now, this smart test light as I call it, you can get online. Um, eBay has them. Um, you can go to Harbor Freight and get them. A lot of your local jobbers will probably have them and stuff like that. And they're around a $20 item for this cheaper model that I have here, which is pretty well suitable for most of the things you're going to do. Now, it doesn't cost that much more than your regular traditional test light, but it's, to me it's nice to have both, okay? But for the price, it's nice to have this around too, so if you don't have one. But now, it's just a convenience. You can do the same thing, but it's just a convenience, alright? So, anyway, that's my thoughts on the two different kind of test lights hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be coming out with some more automotive tool videos and just all kinds of videos here so stay tuned